And um, I had some beats I was sitting on, and um, I had like that, like that one joint Jersey's finest. I'm like, yo, Frank's, Frank's voice gonna sound crazy on here. Like, man, like I that's gotta get summer. it. That's, that's the drama. For the, that's for the highway. That's what, that's that 295. Mm-hmm. Black Horse Pike, White Horse Pike, Facts. you know what I'm saying? Facts. Uh, all that. Finest, that's man. that. You got you got bang that while you going down the highway, down motherfucking AC Expressway, all that. That's Facts. that music. You know what I'm saying? Facts. We really putting on for South Jersey, man. Like, oh, this is the crazy. Cool. It's your boy Monkey getting money. That's more than likely. It's another episode of another episode of No Scope TV. I got the homie Ant Nice in the peace, building. Peace, What's bro, going bro, on, bro? bro? What's bro, up with you, man? Lovely, man. I'm glad you're here, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. I mean, we out here in the in the private location. You know what I mean? I mean, one of them. Yeah, you know I mean, them studios where you make them Johns at, bro. Yeah, man, NYCE Studios. You yeah, man. Wh- license in the shows, man. Shit, man, this is not for the week, though. Don't come down here, you know what I mean? Spit your happy rap. So, I mean, unless you're paying. You can spit whatever the fuck you want. Unless you're paying, but, man. What's good with you, bro? How you been, man? Man, I've been busy, man. Um, Running around, you know, we uh, running for the committee, man, and holding it down for the township, for the citizens, man, and still running a business and still running a studio, still being a father. And, yeah, man, you, know, you out here keeping it real, I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> Putting in that sweat activity. Yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, you said you're running for, what you, run, what you running for again? We're running for county committee for Camden County. Um, okay. We are column four um, on county committee, um, Linda Walborough. Uh, we got a guy named Walter Lenikowski. He's a, okay. uh, he's a mayoral candidate. Um, we're trying to bring some change, man. Like, you know, a lot of these towns, they've been the same for a long time. Mm-hmm. The same old people doing the same old things, and... Most people don't even know who their mayor is. They don't. That's, <laughs> you know what I'm people saying? People definitely got to get into their local politics, yeah, bro. People worrying yeah, about man. what Trump and them doing. Trump and them, they got they ain't got nothing to do with us for real. They don't. Until they it's don't. too late. They don't. <laughs> we only, we only don't. talk to them when it's too late. And you but, know, like, um, Leonard Kowski, he's from Camden, man. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? He's playing football like with the old heads, man. Like, he's a real person you can talk to. He's not like somebody's going to be in an office somewhere, man. And um, we got a couple people running for uh, council also. Uh, Nino uh, Torres and Justin Green, a um, couple of good people too, man. Um, the uh, the uh, Latino community has never been represented, um, especially here in Linderwall. We got a lot of Latino people here, but nobody who even speaks Spanish that rep- represents them. So when can people come out and vote or at least come hear y'all out? When's the um, next event for that? The next meet and greet is May 9th, actually, here uh, on Emerson. Um, I wish I knew the address off the top of my head. It's like 104, something like this. I'll be posting it on social media. And this is, so, you said this is for Lindawall, right? Yeah, it's for Lindawall and uh, and also for the uh, county committee. All right, so y'all hear that, man. If you're from Lindawall, bro, you got to come out. You got problems. You got a pothole that been on your street for 10 years. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You got exactly. wild dogs in your hood. Exactly. Then nobody ain't come doing nothing about it. The exactly. trash man believe y'all trash can in the street. Yo, Go complain about it, bro. You hit it right on the head. That's one of the main issues. Ah, uh, because I had somebody cans, come bro. tell that to me before. Like, I was complaining about, like, something dumb. It was like, they had, like, a pothole or something. I'm like, well, did you go down and try to get it fixed? Right. I was like, no. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> like, right, how they right. supposed to know? Right. Like, that's why we got to get involved, bro. Like, it's, it, it look whack from a distance. Like, and the people here think about this thing about, like you said, Trump and Biden. But, like, yo, if you don't get involved, somebody less qualified than you, somebody who don't care as much as you is going to be they there. They're going to take that, yeah, that budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're going to be there taking the budget, not filling the pothole. You, you, they don't throw sand in that junk. You can see him right at the shop, right? You ain't know who it is. You right, I mean? right. But but but, but if, it, if it was in nice and chill, though, no. it would be like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, this ain't shit. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. It wouldn't be. Nothing right. but shit. You know, I ain't look, never look, did look, nothing. Look, I ain't promising I can save the world. <laughs> But what I can do is make sure that the people's voice is heard. I can advocate right. for the people. Like, like you tell me what the problem is, I'm gonna go tell them what the problem is. Exactly. You know what? Exactly. Um, and I'm, just, I'm just bridging the gap, man, and, and hopefully we make a big change. All right, cool. But we are gonna get into the music side of things because I'm down here because you you didn't hit the internet with that banger with Stevie Frank. Shout out to Shout and out to a whole lot Stevie of Frank. a whole lot more is coming, bro. But yeah. How did y'all even put that? I got to get, get him on the line, too, man. How Facts. y'all even put that together, man? Facts. So, you know, Frank's been doing this thing going hard for, for a minute, man. And sure. his, his buzz has been growing and growing, man. And um, so we, we crossed path actually, like, a long time ago. And um, 
I guess more recently, uh, shout out THE, man, at, uh, UTM oh, Radio. Definitely. Shout out THE. Um, I got to get up with my boy. Yeah, man. I've um, been out the league for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to get back. I got to get back. I'm definitely. I'm definitely. Last time I seen you. Yeah, like, exactly, bro. Got a lot of artists that, that, that I can really salute like that. Man. Appreciate um, it. Appreciate nah, for it. sure, bro. Um, yeah. But, yeah, as far as me and Franks, we touched base back last year, bro. Uh, we did the IPA. Uh, the Independent uh, Artist Festival over there with THE, and okay. we started kind of talking since then, and um, it was a long time, long time coming between then and us actually starting the project up like last winter. Mm -hmm. But man, you know, real recognized, real man, still sharp and still, and um, all you gotta do is put the right beat on, bro, and you right. know what I mean? <laughs> the magic happened from there. So, Thanks, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was actually honored, man, and um, I had some beats I was sitting on and. Um, I, like that, like that one John Jersey's finest. I'm like, yo, Frank's Frank's voice gonna sound crazy on here. Like, man, like I that's gotta get summer. it. That's, that's the John. That's for the highway. That's what, that's that 295. Mm -hmm. Black Horse Pike, White Horse Pike. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Uh, Jersey's all that. Finest, that's man. that. You got you got bang that while you going down the highway down motherfucking AC Expressway. All that. That's Facts. that music. You know what I'm saying. We really putting on for South Jersey, man. Like Jersey in the whole, but you know we from down here, man. Camden County, like, so we really, so we really putting on for the people, man. Like they be trying to forget about us in Jersey, man. They be trying to forget about South Jersey. Facts, bro. And this ain't about ego tripping. This ain't about um, you know, like oh, who got the biggest car and all of this stuff. This is about real hip hop. This is about hip hop in, in its purest form, man. This ain't about. You know nothing more than that, and we and we and we dropping jewels while we at it, man. Like, you know, now you're capable of everything, man. Like, now you're capable of everything for sure. Hey. Speaking of which, bro, now you capable capable of everything, shit. You know what I mean? I'll be off, you know, a little. You know, forget about that. But uh, when did you get started in this thing called hip hop, like? What, what what year did you say it was the man. year of our Lord nineteen ninety four? You want me to be totally honest? <laughs> yeah, like yo, I was rapping thirty six chambers before I knew what the words meant. Like, Facts. um, matter of fact, my older brother, shout out my brother Damien, um, uh, he had wrote down all the lyrics to uh, M E T H O D, and uh, <laughs> I was reading them lyrics and rapping them songs. I was like five six years old. Like, I mean, yeah. ninety three, bro. Like hip hop is like like from day one. I went from Michael Jackson, the Boys the Men, to Biggie, to Wu Tang. Um, I don't know if y'all, um, I don't know if you remember. Or they had this joint back in the day where you could put a uh, sound like a penny in, and they sent you all these tapes in the mail. Yeah, definitely. Like yeah, BMG or something. They, yo, <laughs> man, we beat that down. I was six years old applying uh, for them it's joints. Something club. Um, uh, I forgot, yo, but I know exactly. Yeah, we had seen. all them tapes, bro. I think they went out of business because of that. Well, like that to. was a dumbass business to. plan. Had to. That, that was that was the equivalent of. Uh, uh, it's free downloads now. That was yeah. like Napster. That was like the first Napster before the internet was big. It was, it was hitting out hard copies. Yo, I had Kara's One, Jones, Rakim, everything. Biggie, Wu-Tang, Raekwon, Purple Tape. What was that shit called? Um, for some reason, it's I keep thinking about BMG. Something, something called Club or some shit like that. Yo, you send a penny. You just give him a penny. I never even gave him a penny. I don't I was, think I gave him a penny <laughs> I was, either. I was six years old, bro. I was six signing them papers. And they sent me the, the ones I requested. They sent them to Netflix me. Netflix going to do a doc on them niggas. I know Yo, them niggas was down bad. A, that's a big part of hip hop, man. I think Columbia you know, House, Columbia House, yeah. yeah, that was something too. That, that, that that's definitely ringing bells. But since back then, bro, like, so I've been rapping since I was a little boy. Um, I made my I made my first my first beat. I guess I had a first beat in my head when I was like 11, 12 years old. Mm. We had them little cheap keyboards. Yeah, and I would yeah. just and I would always play the same beat over and over again. It was basically three keys, but it was mm. a pattern I had that was dope. And I still been trying to make that beat. Um, to this day, but um, and I finally, I guess, got down to writing. You know what I'm saying? I was like 16, 17, and um, it was around the time I had met my son's mom, and that's when I set up my first little studio in her, her mm -hmm. mom's basement, and I was down there getting. I was still hustling and stuff, man, but we was down there getting it. Um, and that's when I started kind of making that transition, like, oh, word. yeah, like then I started letting people hear my little tapes, and they was like, yo, yo, you hot, bro, like. See, you, you, you came from where niggas actually had to work to do this shit. Nowadays, I'm not trying to sound like the old hater. I ain't even old. I'm still with y'all. <laughs> but, like, people be blown off the, like, third song they ever made. Like, nobody not even supposed to hear y'all rap right now. Facts. And it's facts, like, facts. Facts. I don't even, like, as far as trying to be in the game, do you even worry about the game or are you just here to try to spread dope, you know what I mean, dope music? Hmm. How do you feel about the game? Like, is you it know, somewhere is, where you want to be? This is a tough one, right? Because 
you know, everybody's creativity and, you know, you don't want to, you know, put anybody's creativity down. Everybody, we live in this cancel culture and sensitive sensitivity and stuff, right. man. But like you said, we come from a time where if you couldn't rap, you just couldn't rap. You wasn't allowed to rap. Right. You better not rap Before ever again. Before anybody even heard you rap, you already did like 25 songs. <laughs> right. Like, I did right. like 25 songs on like my, on the fucking... The computer, like the computer speaker that's on the computer, and like wrap it into that jaw. Right, old stereos with the two. You had to press the two buttons. Yeah, before. you wrap into that jaw, like yeah. everything, bro. Um, then you just come out and rap. But as far as the game, like I feel like, um, again, not, like you said, not to sound like an old head, but like um, the game is it, it, changed, right? Like. Um, our, our elders looked at us like, what are y'all talking about? What are y'all doing? Yeah. So, like, and I, I feel myself doing that sometimes, and I'm like, let me check myself. Because, right. you know, they, they still expressing their creativity and stuff. Um, I feel like everything has a, has a lane and a place now. Where back in sure. the day, all you had was what they played on Paranormal Night. Yeah. Or what right, they played on right. the radio. So, you used to wait for it to come on Cosmic Care or somebody. You hit record, record the on your street, little tapes. Boy. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Record on your tapes. That's how you got the music. Right, like, right. You, you wasn't just going out and buying CDs, was expensive. Right. Tapes was expensive, so you you recorded it, you stole it from the radio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely like, had a bunch of them tapes, so you had to go get the clear joints. Yeah. JVC joints. Yeah. yeah. Or else you had to take a piece of paper and stick it yep. in the hole. Just all paper and so on, yeah. Yeah, like people don't know about this these yeah. days, but the game, like, I feel like everything got a place, like... That's why I say like uh, like shout out like Benny the Butcher and Griselda and them. You feel Definitely. me? Definitely, they keep it in hip hop. Yeah, you feel me? And um, I had these debates with people like, well, you can't say that you know a uh, little Uzi and them not hip hop and da da da. And I'm like, it depends on like you know. Um, little Uzi is like Prince. He is hip hop. He the thing about Uzi is you. I, I respect it because the nigga at, at the end of the day, he really know how to rap. Like he's just right. going some like I seen songs where this. Where he rapping his ass off. Gotcha. It's just like he's doing some other shit. Like gotcha. he gone. He get, he like in the bag. He, yeah, and like he like a different like an entity or some shit. Like gotcha. he on some super Hollywood. He not gotcha. He get in the bag. <laughs> he get in the bag. Yeah, and I'm not even saying that's a good thing. Like right. people that can't even hold him accountable for nothing that he doing because he's just mm. like on some. Mm. He's done with the rap shit. Like this nigga's on some other shit. I don't know mm. what it is, but. Good for you, bro. That's yeah, all I can say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, like if you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, it depends on I guess where your heart is at, right? I feel yeah. like I feel like if you if you win it if you win it for the money, um, you know, let it be known. And uh, uh, another thing with hip hop is that, like rock, right? You got mm -hmm. classic rock, you got heavy metal, you got bluegrass, you got punk rock, you got all these different. Right. They don't they don't argue amongst themselves about who's the best rock and roller, nah. you know. But you got DMX in the same category as like you know, <laughs> Lil whoever. Nas X. Right, I, was, I, was, I didn't want to say because I don't know if he's a, I don't know if he's a rapper. Yeah, not, I, don't right? even, I don't even know what that he, is. Like I said, like I don't know what people is just like. They're like social media. They're like social media celebrities that make songs. Yeah, TikTok, yeah. TikTok, uh, TikTok uh, uh, influencers and stuff like this, and, and they blow up on something like this, and you know it's a difference. But I feel like, and like, you know, I got, I, I got, I got to put it on the old heads. I got to put it on Ice T. I got to put it on Russell. They still Summer. making good music, I gotta, but I, I got to put it on them for not taking hold of the game and, okay. and categorizing it. Instead, I said Ice T beefing with Soldier Boy. He should have said, "Oh no, this is a different part of hip hop." Like you, well, we can still call it hip hop, right. but like that's like that's like uh like punk rock, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's or like that's like something, something, else, something yeah. else, you know. But we shouldn't all be in the same category. It's trying to make the same... a list of who the best out of like yeah. it's not nothing the same about and they, none of them. They still talking about it's about forty years worth of hip hop. Is Tupac better right. than better than six nine? Like what are y'all like? We talking about four like it's, it's, a, it's a whole different thing, bro. Yeah, we talking like forty years, bro. It sounds crazy, but. That's how long ago it was. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? 30, 40 years ago, yeah. we comparing these things, and nobody's taking the time to break it down, like, professionally in a way that, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that we can all be respected and understood. You For know sure, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, I feel like I do what I do because I feel like it's needed. And if, and at the very... Uh, at, at the most and the least, like, I need it for my soul, like, mm -hmm. a lot of times. Just, I need to get it out of me, and... Um, I'm thankful to be able to create it because I don't know how other people get it out of them. I don't know what people do. I guess they like people do drugs or whatever they do, like or they just hold it in and you know, yeah, yeah, I don't know what they I do. To, like, I, yeah, it's just a weird, it's a weird game out there, man. Yeah. But speaking of like the game and hip hop and artistry, endless. 
What would you say was like your top five influence that influenced your style of rap? Like I, I know everybody to create your style, you got to take a little bit from mm -hmm. him, a little bit from them, a little bit from him. Who's like the top five people that it's you gonna feel like real, it was going to sound real cliche, but it's true though. <laughs> um, it's true. Like, I mean, I got to put like, I got to put Wu-Tang as one person. Okay. You know right. Okay. Wu-Tang's a whole person, right? For, um, <laughs> for, for us, it's a whole person, but I was a Gambino from day one. Like, the um, Gambino. Yo, for sure, for sure, man. Shout out to Reza and man, shout everybody. Shout out that series. That series was fire. Facts. They just started to miss me at the end when they started doing a little side missions and stuff. Uh, that's the only thing. Right, like, right, it was right. doing, it was going so good. Right. A lot of people don't fuck with Reza. I think it's hilarious. Like, don't fuck with the, uh, the border play Reza. Gotcha. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but, but I think it's funny. Like, I mean, he's like a dramatic version of RZA. I guess what, that's what I, I mean, guess. I mean, RZA pretty dramatic. I'm talking about how he be talking, like, right, right, right. Right. They try to make him like he's one of the uh, the Chinese flicks. Like, you know, <laughs> you I, I get it. Right. RZA picked him, so I guess right. that's what he wanted. So. Right, right, right. Nah, say it like this. That's right. You got to say, say, like like, say it like um, Bruce Lee. <laughs> right. Um, Wu-Tang, Biggie, um, of course, like, that's like from day one coming up. Um, and it from there it went to the locks before D Block. Like mm. I was Money Pie, respect all that stuff. Shout out Styles P. Um, Styles P got me through some of my darkest hours in life, bro. Like sure. not to mention even just with my flow and certain things as well, but just in real life itself. Like, like I, bro, I was just listening to Ghost in the Shell. Oh my it's god! So like hard. I can't even listen to some of the old styles no more because it make me feel like that again. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I gotta put that away. I'm not like I was that. Like, you can't let people know you listen to this. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of <laughs> crazy, bro. It's kind of crazy just bringing them old feelings up. Ghost in the Shell, and of course, so hard. <laughs> so, so you got, so you got Wu, uh, you got the Locks, um, you got Big. Of course, of course. Um, East Coast, man. I don't care what nobody say. Biggie was always better than Tupac to me. To me, definitely. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying, he was just, when it comes to the bars, like, definitely. Um, and, of course, Jay and Nas, man. Like, mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, I'm definitely a combination of all of that. You know what I mean? And, um, I mean, I could make a longer list or go to the older rappers and stuff like that. But really, really, that those are the five people. Count Wu as a whole, as a person, as one, you okay. know, entity. Um you know, but yeah, definitely that man, like the greats. You know, it's like I said, it's not cliche, but like through and through, bro, through and through. All right, yeah, that sounds pretty much East Coast. This is you know some East Coast real hip hop shit. Yeah, dog. I mean, somebody gotta do it. Yeah. Fucking. As far as like the new game, like the new era of hip hop, do you feel as though it? They're trying to say like it's influencing the kids, which. I guess you could say it is, but do you feel as more? Do you feel more as though it might be uh, art imitating life, or the other way around? Um, I don't know. I don't necessarily think that that's art imitating life, but I would blame just social media in a whole. Before I, I, the music is just influential as it's always been. Um, like my son, let me hear some young boy talking about scamming. Um, I don't know if you heard this dude, but he be going, um, he be going hard right, about scamming. Uh, he's like he a be Detroit, talking crazy. Detroit rapper. Yeah, yeah, I think he's from Detroit. Yeah, yeah I know what you're talking about. With the scam, it was like, like you can learn some shit yo, from this. Like, that, yeah. All right, so look for us. <laughs> for us, we was we was listening to people talking about hustling, kilos, bricks. Uh, right. You know what I mean? Robberies, whatever. Like now you're talking about scamming. Like I think the music is just influential as it's ever been, but the social media thing. Yeah, shit. Thought rap. They have, right. a, they have a whole genre of right. how to be a thought. Go get you a BBL. But, go do but, don't, but don't get it twisted. Like nobody's ever going to be as graphic and nasty as Lil Kim. With that hard cry. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Lil Kim was, but see, she was respected. Sims House still she yeah, was respected because she, she, she was validated by men. And she started that shit. I always respect the OGs of the, the styles. Like if you look at everybody, it's like the the. The people that are on top are like the OGs of whatever style they got. It'll be a hundred. Like there's a there's like a million people that tried to rap like the Migos. There's a million people that try to rap like Facts. Future. Facts. And I re Facts. always respect like even like to the like the Ray Shrimmers. It was like I fuck with Ray Shrimmers music only because they started that John and now it's like ten thousand niggas doing that. Facts. Yeah. So Facts. Now, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Like man, back in the day, bro, like. The thing was to sound original and unique. Now it's like everybody got the auto tune. They everybody got sounds working baby. right now. That's what I'm doing. Oh my god! That's why bro, I hear like, people doing the Brooklyn draw. Yo, me and my son be going at it. Like I'm like, yo, they all sound the same a little bit. They all using the auto tune. They all sing rap and they all do like three word patterns. Like you know what I'm saying? And those are the people 
who are getting the deals, but I have a I have a conspiracy, which probably ain't even a conspiracy theory it's about people facts. getting deals. I feel like they try to find like the dumbest nigga to give a million dollars to because they can just rob him. Like he about to sell mad records. Right. right. They, they looking for like like they be like, yo, did he he shot a cop? He did this, he's out on bail. He got one song, it's kind of catchy. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> give him $10 million. <laughs> right, right, right. And give him the worst contract history has ever seen. And not just that, but I mean, we got to be honest too. Like, you know, this for our, like, the, you know, the older era as well. Like, there is does seem to be an agenda that's put out, right? right. Like, that's why that's why Common was not number one. Even Jay said, like, if skills sold, truth be told, I'd be Talib Kweli. Really? Like, he yeah. said it in, yeah. in the song. Like, he knew that, he knew that Talib Kweli was... But just, yeah, just as lyrical facts. as he was, you know facts. what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, there's a thing with that, man. And they're looking for people with a certain message, you know, also. Like, the more crazy you could be, like, like yo, 6 9 I'm back doing his numbers again. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um... I might beat the shit out of 6 9 too. Fine. I mean, that shit was yeah. kind of dumb on Bulls it was, part. It kind of staged a little bit. Nah, it, they really... Nah, they, okay. the dude went to jail. But, like, at the end of the day, like, you don't know 6 9 You just beat him up for... Clout, now you about to go to prison behind for a day's charge this nigga with like armed ro like armed robbery and battery wow. and he already a felon wow. he facing like a dub. Wow. Like over what? Trying like be, you don't really cool. got like if I saw six nine, I'm not beating you up. <laughs> right. <laughs> I ain't right. going to jail. Right. I got stuff I'm already a felon. I got stuff to do in the morning. <laughs> right. Right. I got stuff to do in the like, like, yeah, morning. I got him. Like, right. But right. like at the end of the day, you, on, you don't bro. even know six nine. You don't even got beef with him. You just doing it because the internet said it was a good idea. Right, right, right. And meanwhile, uh, <laughs> what's the dude? Uh, Trayvon's dude still yeah, walking around. Yeah, yeah. He's still walking. Somebody around. need to beat his ass. Right, he's still walking around like that. But that's that's the, I don't want to get off to get off the internet. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a whole yeah. other thing. Like that's a whole other. That's a whole other bag of words. By itself, like don't let get me started on the culture. Like, <laughs> right, you know right. What I'm but, uh, shit, we gotta, uh, get ready to... We uh, out. Yeah, we gotta have to wrap this joint up. Well, I think this probably picked up some good joints because it's kind of close, so... Yeah. Matter of fact, we can get to some, uh... We can get some of that music. Some of that, uh, that, that EP you got. Jersey's Finest, right? I can turn it up, bro. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna play it on the joint. Okay, okay. Yeah, right, so, but, but, but. but, like, what John? Like, I just want you to introduce the track. Um, so, uh, next up, um, shout out Stevie Frank's... Uh, me and Stevie Franks is Jersey's Finest. The best record to kick off with will be Jersey's Finest. So um, we'll let that thing play, man. And make sure y'all uh, look up Spotify. Uh, yeah, tell them where they can find you. Tell them yeah, where they can iTunes. find you. iTunes. We prefer Amazon Music. Um, Amazon Music is one of the few places you can actually download your music and keep it. Like these other platforms, like if you, if you stop paying your, your uh, subscription, you don't got your music no more. Wait, you said Amazon Prime? It was Amazon Music. You know oh, Amazon Music. These yeah. niggas got their hand in everything, you, but bro. But you actually get this, still get the MP3. Oh, okay. Like, All right. A lot of these joints, like, 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 like Title and stuff. Like, I had, like, I uh, messed with Title and yeah. I bought a whole bunch of albums on there. You feel me? Jada Kiss joint, a couple, like, Nas joint. They tell you, leave that. You can't take them with you. Yeah. It's not yours. It's not, if you don't got no subscription, whatever you bought is going too. Um, but Amazon Music, um, uh, Spotify, uh, we got a video coming soon. Um, it's not out. You said, as you said, it's not out yet. I'm about to say because I can post it at the end of this, John. Too. The video? Yeah. Nah. Nah, 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 the, nah, the video not out yet. It's been been a lot. April was crazy. Uh, yeah, uh, April true. was a crazy month. Um, uh, the next joint on the uh, album is uh, is a uh, day by day. Shout out my man Kiko, uh, Kiko Beats, yo, from Italy. Beats fire. Uh, Frank's. Crush that thing, man, is always um that hook is bananas like mm -hmm. I heard that joke, I'm like, yo, Drake gonna be mad. <laughs> um, <laughs> um but that uh, that thing fire, yo. Um then uh, then uh the uh, next up is the most powerful record of all I feel like when it comes to, you know, really having that strong message, it's called Talk to him. Okay. And um, you know, uh just real powerful messages, man. I, Talking to my son and a couple, a couple of my bars, and speaking directly to the to the soul of hip hop, to the soul of the streets. And uh, sure, for sure, Frank's is doing the same thing, man. Like, um, you know, what we got to do to make it out of this struggle, and what some of our goals are, and things like this. And shout out Steve Harvey. We got a uh, nice clip of him at the end on there, Word. just just dropping some knowledge. You yeah, know, he got some powerful. Right. Yeah, he got some powerful uh, things to say, man. And um, so that that was definitely special. Um, and uh. That's just something light. 
a nice little 10 minute EP uh, for everybody to, you know, be able to vibe out to it and kind of get a taste of what we got in store for y'all. We got a whole whole album we about to actually you know, finish, right. finish putting out. Yeah, definitely I'll put that joint out. Y'all yeah. got all heat, bro. Yeah. Definitely I'll put them, put them dollars behind that. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely what time it is. Um, but I don't know um, how the, uh, how the uh, record is going and going. Mm -hmm. But um, nonetheless, I just want to thank you, man, personally uh, for coming through. No doubt, bro. Um, I had to, man. I was been supposed to slide through here, man. Yeah, man. And you're welcome, bro. Like, um, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, tell wanna... people, where, I guess, how to reach out to, I guess, get some, um, yeah, some studio man, time. Um, definitely hit me up. You can hit me up. Um, I'd rather hit people hit me up on the email, to be honest, um, uh, NYCE. One two three four five six at gmail dot com. Um, you hit me up on social media inboxes too, but I get to them when I get to them. Fast. You know what I'm saying? Like I actually turn the notifications off because it'd be disrespectful. <laughs> but I be yeah, trying to sleep. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the notifications is not on my phone. Do not ding all day long. I won't allow it. Right. Like, you know, I'm kind of against against yeah. that. I'm against that. Like I definitely, be, I'm on the same type of yeah, time, bro. Yeah. I'm against that. Like I tell people, like yo, like you gotta make sure you face not always in that phone, man. Like um, Elon Musk said, we already cyborgs. Definitely. You know what I'm People saying? People talking about, they're going to put a chip in me. <laughs> you already see your what? pocket. Right, right. It's in your pocket. Like, you're <laughs> you already voluntarily with, holding it. Right. It might be easy if you just put it in your wrist. Right. Just, you know what I'm saying? You can put it right there and just talk to it. But, um, yeah, definitely, um, definitely, um, you know, reach out for studio time, man. I'm not going to break your pockets. No, you don't come here we, 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 we didn't come here to write we came here to rap you know what I'm saying right, right, right. so people were like oh let me go you know what I'm saying but um I'm prepared yeah man I'm big on I'm big on cats sounding good too like I don't want people leaving my studio sound like garbage like I, I will ask you like you sure like I've asked you a couple times if I don't think it's good and, <laughs> but I'm not going I'm, I'm, I'm not your manager though you know what I'm saying so right, I don't right. know but, but I'm just I'm just hip hop to the core so I wouldn't want nobody to let me go out like that. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I can dig it. I can <laughs> so I, dig I, it. I, I let nobody go out like that. Um, but, yeah, get in touch, man. Um, uh, NYCE Studios. Um, we got the music on all platforms. Um, make sure y'all vote, man. We doing a political thing. We doing Bring a music thing. Bring your ass out and vote if you live yeah. in them there Linda Walls, boy. Yeah, man. We out here, man. Every Everywhere we can be, man. We touching every every area. It's more than music. It's more than movement. It's a lifestyle. Uh -huh. And this your boy, Muggy Getting Money. That's more than likely. This is No Scope TV. My man, and Nice. And we about to be out this jaw. I'll see y'all niggas next time. Yo. I'm the man with the iron, leave them all ghosts. Throwing shots, eyes closed, that's a no scope.